Okay, uh, so I'm at the IKR, okay? Uh, so let's say you want to have some idea on, on the papers that you will be taking in your final exam. You can, you can download uh, some papers based on the registered, based on your registered subject. And you can maybe train yourself on how to un answer the questions. Okay. So you can, uh, you can download the past year exam examination papers in, in the IKR, the Test Knowledge Ministry. So don't worry, uh, after, the, I, after I finish the slides, I will get some hands-on and how, how to get this kind of material. Okay, this is the table, uh, how or what is the content of our databases that you can get. Okay, for example, if you are, if you are looking for macroeconomic data, such as GDP, inflation, unemployment rates, PR, you can use three of these databases. You can get it from Bloomberg, Icon, or RetaStream. Basically, uh, you will need to look at the historical data or the past year's data, right? For example, the last five years, the last 10 years. So this is the three databases that uh, is, is relevant based on this, uh, based on this data requirement. Okay. Uh, you can also get the, the companies or the bank's, bank's data from these three databases, Bloomberg, Icon, and DataTree. So, and for banks, because we have, uh, for banks, we have uh, like, we have the listed banks, which is the parent, and we have the unlisted bank, which is the subsidiaries or the windows. For example, we have HSBC, and we also have HSBC Amana which is the subsidiary from HSBC. So HSBC Amana is the subsidiary. And to get, and some students or some researchers uh, need to get HSBC Amana uh, financial statements or variables, for example, their total asset, their debt, liabilities, which is, uh, I can say, quite hard to get if you don't have the right resource. Uh, if you use, if you need to access uh, or, you, or you need to have the data from HSBC Amana, if you get, uh, if you use Bloomberg, Icon or DataStream, you uh, might have limited, limited data on these three databases. Why? Because they, okay, HSBC Amana, uh, report their total asset to HSBC parent. So HSBC, the parent company, will produce their annual report or their quarterly report, which which they total up from their subsidiaries. So uh, you need only the like total asset from HSBC Amana. So uh, it's quite hard to get. So that's why we have uh, Fitch Connect databases to get this data for you. What Fitch Connect have is the, they have both listed and non-listed banks. For example, uh, in Malaysia, we have, uh, I don't know, maybe more than 50 banks, but Islamic banks, we have 16 Islamic banks in Malaysia. So how to get these 16 Islamic banks data? You can use Fitch Connect. To, to download and retrieve their financial information, financial statements, balance sheets, and the rest. And for if you're looking for suku or bonds, you can have you can have or download the data from either Bloomberg and Icon. And funds, if you're looking for Islamic funds or mutual funds, uh, you can use the same databases, Bloomberg or Icon. Uh, news, same, uh, Bloomberg and iPhone. And also, if you need some 
uh, research report related to the sectors or the company. Okay, uh, you can also use uh, Bloomberg and Icon. Uh, Bloomberg and Icon uh, is mainly is highly used because they have this kind of uh, nice interface which you can navigate. Uh, unlike data stream, data stream is being uh, accessed through your Excel. So uh, you know how, how Excel works. You just pick, let's say, the company name uh, and your variable, let's say their total asset, and you pick the your time period. For example, you need the data since 2000 until the last year, 2019. So in, in one click, you can get, uh, for example, Walmart total asset from 2000 from 2000 until 2019. So they only produce uh, these numbers, the data. Okay. So uh, if you need further analysis, for example, if you need to have your the chart and the rest, you need to use your you need to insert your the charts uh, separately. Okay. And also, if you need uh, refer to some standards, for example, AOF standards, it's available in. Uh, okay, so in uh, in summary, uh, you can have the access for for uh, macro data, company data, uh, and also exchange rate from these three database: Bloomberg, Icon, and Tashim. For Fitch Connect, it's uh, only meant for banks only whether it's uh, listed banks or non-listed banks. Okay. So let's say if you're taking any subject or assignments on banks, I would recommend you to use Fitch Connect. Okay. But if you have any subjects or assignments or project uh, that related to macro data company, ESG for example, uh, you can use these three databases, Bloomberg, Icon, and Stream. So, if you have any question, uh, you just uh, buzz me, okay? Maybe I forgot some, some info to share. So, and we done with the resources. So, I will continue with the Insect Knowledge Portal and also KMC Portal. First, uh, how to access INSEF Knowledge Portal? First of all, you just go to uh, INSEF website and once you scroll down, you will see uh, Knowledge Management Center section. Okay. So you just further click on this on the link and it will bring you to INSEF Knowledge Portal. Okay. So once you're there, just uh, Click on Insight Knowledge Portal and it brings you to this uh, landing page. So, in this landing page, I can say it's a uh, gateway to KMC resources. So, here you can have the link to KMC Portal, uh, IKR, KMC Facebook, and Insight Thought Leadership Talk. And this small search bar is our discovery service where you can, where it acts like a Google. Okay. Uh, since I mentioned earlier, we have multiple platform for scholarly and ebook database. So let's say if you need some depth, some information on, let's say, uh, Musharaka uh, or Makasit Shariah, for example. So you previously you need to access it uh, in different platform. So for example, you need to perform the same keyword search in uh, Science Direct. You need to, to perform the same keyword search in Emerald and the rest of the databases. But by using this uh, Inceph Knowledge Portal, you just in your search 
uh, keyword and hit search and it will give you the result based on our subscribe sources. You can have the result from Emerald, uh, Science Direct, uh, from ebooks, from journal, trade magazines, uh, reports, if any. Okay, uh, next we go to our KMC portal. So KMC portal is, uh, this is the landing page for KMC portal. Uh, this is, uh, I can say it's like your personal KMC account where you can check uh, if you, if you have any, you have, if you borrow any books from KMC, you can check your due date, you can check your fines, and you can check your hold if if any hold means that uh, you want to you want to borrow a book but that particular book is being checked out it's being used by another student so you would like to reserve the book so when when he or she return the books uh, you can have the notification that the books is available for collection so that's what, that's what we call hold or reserve so this is the landing page for KMC portal. Uh, we uh, the KMC feed only uh, update any announcement, trainings, closure, or, or our activities in this in this portal. Okay, as you can see that uh, we have our training announcement and we have our uh, closure announcement, and we also have our new books or new publication that we we post. In KMC portal. Okay. okay, first of all, you uh, to access it, you need to log in first. Uh, we practice or we implement a single sign on SSO, so you don't have to remember multiple IDs and password. Okay. So you just use the you just use your the same ID uh, in your LMS or in your EUC. So we sync all of these platforms together. Okay, same prevention as your EUSD and student portal. Okay. So uh, this is how to search for books in that available on site on the campus in the KMC collection. So uh, since most of you are on distance learning and not have the opportunity to come to the campus. I'll, I'll, I'll fast forward these slides. Okay, basically, this is how you search for the books that are available in KMC. Okay. So this is your keyword search. You just click, uh, click search, and this is your filtering. Whether you want to filter by subject, uh, language, publication date. You want the latest one. You want the the oldest one. This is your account. Where do you have any books being checked out? Your history, whole information, or you have any fines or payment pending? And your current status, whether you have you been blocked for having a fine, or your status is okay. So this is renewing checkout system. So let's say you have this title, uh, you, you have this title with you. So you want to extend the due date. Okay, you just check on checkouts, uh, check the box and click renew. Uh, just for your information, if uh, some of you are in Malaysia or nearby Kuala Lumpur, if you need some materials or some books, uh, Available that available in the campus. I uh, you just search any particular book that you need, and you just give the details to KMC by email, and inform us when you want to pick up the books. Okay. Since uh, we don't encourage, uh, we don't encourage students to come to the campus uh, during this period. So this is how we we accommodate. The students. 
Uh, Hanif, can you please repeat the last part? Sorry, I missed it. Okay. Uh, since we, since the management is restricted, uh, student numbers that come come to the campus. How we want to accommodate our students that want to use the the book, for example, you just uh, go to MC portal, type in your keyword of books that you want to borrow. So once you have the information, you just email us the details of the book. So uh, you just email to KMC the title of the books and when you want to pick up the books. For instance, you want to uh, you want to borrow this book, Suku Shariah and Regulatory Education. So you just copy the title, email to KMC and inform us when you want to pick up the book. For example, you want to pick up the books tomorrow on the 18th. And you just uh, inform KMC, I want to I want to borrow this book. I will come to KMC uh, tomorrow, 18 September, to pick up the book. And we will check out the book for you. And you, you just uh, come to the campus to pick up the books. Because you uh, we are not allowed students uh, to, to enter the campus at the moment without any without any um, uh, any valid reasons okay sure and what about the ebooks ebooks you can have uh, access it anywhere you don't you don't have to come to the campus so i'll i'll go through uh, the ebook platform after it Okay, so in KMC portal, if you click on explore our collections, uh, we have uh, separate by the type. For example, uh, the ebooks, the journals, the online database, and the, the rest. Okay, so you can uh, explore more if you want to have the individual access. For example, you just want to focus on getting articles in Science Direct. So Science Direct is available under uh, ebooks and in general. Okay, so you just click on if you need uh, book ebooks on Science Direct, you just go to KMC portal, click on Explore our collections, and go to ebooks. So you can have the list of our ebooks platform. Okay, and same goes to e journals and online databases. Okay. So uh, this is how you search for materials by keyword in the INSEF knowledge uh, portal. Uh, you just key in your preferred keywords. For example, I'm using social finance and the system will try to uh, get the closest result. For example, uh, they will give you some uh, relevant, relevant search or relevant keyword. Okay, and once you click search, okay, this is some uh, tips that you can use. I'll, I'll, go, I'll go on this afterward. There are some search tips that you can use. Okay. <clears throat> So this is the search result based on social finance. As you can see, we have around 2.4 million of results. Okay. This is all the results from our subscribe database, from ebooks, e-journals, magazine, newspapers, reports, and, and so on. All available. Uh, data all available resources that we have okay. so uh, they have three main components which are the filters uh, item location or details whether you uh, whether you can see this is uh, whether this is a books uh, print books or ebook or article and this is our useful useful resources that you can have further 
further, you can explore further. Okay. So for example, uh, you, you want to look for a book from this kind of results. You can, uh, how you identify it's a book, you can see that uh, under the icon, it classified as book. So once you click retrieve catalog item, it will bring you to our KMC portal because KMC portal only will only display result on books only. Okay. So you can have the title here. You can have uh, the call number and the availability whether the books is available on the shelf or being checked out. If it's being checked out, you can further proceed to place the hold to the book. And once the book has been written, uh, the system will send you an email to your, the system will send you message to your email and you will, you will get the notifications to pick up the book. And how to know whether the item or the search results that you are using is article. Okay. Article is quite uh, straightforward. You, you, will, you can see that uh, there is a link to the PDF. Okay. For example, this is periodicals. Periodicals means uh, it's a serial publication. Most of the journals is in serial format where they have their, their publication frequency, whether it's uh, quarterly, uh, by, by, by annual, basically uh, it's either monthly, quarterly or by annual. So it's, we consider this it's as a serial, which is pre-bookable. So you can see that uh, this is the title of the journal, Islamic Business and Finance, the, the publication year, the issue, the page, and which database these articles belongs to. For example, this article is available in Business Source Corporate Plus. Okay. So let's say if you need to further read or download this article, you just click on this PDF full, full text icon and you can have the full text uh, and you can, can also further download and print. Okay, this is quite straightforward. And we on the right hand side, there is also some tools where you can, uh, for example, if you need uh, to email to your colleagues, for example, you can click on this uh, email icon. Uh, you can also email to yourself, to your colleague, to your lecturer, for example. And also, they have this function called site. So uh, you don't have to manually uh, type in the, the citation of the article. You just click on site and choose what citation style uh, based on your preference. Whether you prefer Harvard style, Chicago style, uh, MLA or APA. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> okay. So we also have articles that are from external databases. Okay. So if you can see that uh, this article, who issues suku and when? Uh, the difference between the previous article is they don't have this PDF full text icon, but it shows view record from ScienceDirect. Okay. So you can also retrieve this article. You can also uh, download this article. You just further click on view record from ScienceDirect because uh, it will brings you to ScienceDirect page. And you can further click the article to, to read. 
same goes to uh, Emerald. Okay. If you don't if you don't see any PDF icon here, for example, if you have any article from Emerald, you can you can uh, expect that the you can see the link view record from Emerald. For example, okay. so you just uh, further click on the link, just follow the link, and it brings you to Emerald. This is the full text of the article. Okay, so don't forget. Uh, if you're uh, Brother Honey, one question I have. Okay. Uh, like uh, uh, in the Inseed Knowledge Portal, when we search any e want to search any ebook, okay. so is there any filter that distinguishes between uh, uh, an ebook or, or a hard copy? Uh, yes. Okay. Uh, I'll answer your question and I'll demo to you. To you. Okay. okay. So now I'm at the uh, Insef Knowledge Portal. Okay. So you can uh, log in now or you can log in later. Okay, it doesn't matter. So let's say I'm uh, any keyword that any books particular that you want to you want to try. Any particular title. If you don't have, I'll just go by uh, risk management, for example. Okay. So you can see this is the suggestion. So I just proceed to search. Okay. So this is the result from risk management. We have uh, 6 million uh articles which cons articles books ebooks magazine okay so you can use the filtering to choose whether it's on uh, you want only book so i'll go to only book So let me check. Okay, I can I can know that this is uh, retrieve catalog item means this is from inside KMC catalog meaning this is uh, a print book. Okay, once I click retrieve catalog item, okay, it will brings me to KMC portal where I can see the book status. So this is available in open shelves and the status is open shelves means the book is available for borrowing. Okay, thank you. Okay. Okay, so uh, we also, uh, this is how where you can uh, include KMC resources into your Google Scholar. If you prefer Google Scholar to, if you prefer use Google Scholar to uh, collect your article or, or get information uh, from Google Scholar, you can also include our resources into Google Scholar. How to how how to include it? Okay. You just open uh, scholars.google.com. Okay. So in the settings, you just click on the settings okay. and proceed to library links. And in the search bar, uh, you just type insert and hit and and hit search. So INSEF will be, uh, you can see that INSEF, INSEF full text at, uh, full text at INSEF KMC. So you just check the box and click save. And so, so once you perform your search in Google Scholar, for example, you can see that there's a new link, full text at INSEF KMC. Okay. So 
before this, uh, maybe you don't incorporate our resources into Google Scholar. You can only you, you can only see results based what Google Scholar provides. But once you uh, insert or include our resources into Google Scholar, you can have what Google Scholar provides and also what uh, Insect provides. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, this, this screenshot is uh, quite old, so they might have some changes. So I'll try. So I go to Scholar. Okay. So this is the Google Scholar landing page. You just uh, click on these three lines. And go to setting and click on library links okay so if you're from uh, other university also you can have a try for example so i just click insert and click uh, search okay so if you see insert full text at insert tmc you just check the box and click save Okay, so we can have a try. Uh, maybe I'm looking for the Makasi. Uh, no Makasi, Musharaka, for example. So any yeah, Musharaka, any Musharaka, Matanakita. Okay. Okay, so this is the example. You can have can have a look here. So this is full text at Insect KMC. And the article is from Emerald. So we do have the access from Emerald. So these are the, the citation style uh, INSEF uh, is using APA formatting citation style. So you can have a look here how they arrange the, the articles or the books uh, information. The first one is uh, authors, the author, uh, and then proceed with the publication year, the article title, uh, the journal information in italic, followed by volume number, page, uh, URL or DOI, if, if, they, if the article has uh, URL or DOI. And how they arrange the book's citation, uh, followed by the author's last name, the the publication year, the book title in italic, and the publisher information. And the third one is the chapter in book. If you if you need to cite the chapters in the in a particular book, you can start with the author last name, uh, publication year, the chapter first, and follow by the authors of the, the book and, and next is where you put the chapter and where you find the page number and publication year. Okay. <clears throat> okay. So in CEF uh, IKR, I will straight go through the hands-on session. Okay, so uh, okay, so we go to okay. the knowledge portal. Okay, 
Okay, so I try I log in first. You can also log in with your the same uh, e news e credentials. Maybe this is my correct password. So for example, uh, I'm just use any keyword here. Okay, so uh, before this, I, I share with you the search tips, right? So what you can use is, uh, since uh, we are studying Islamic finance and banking, and most of our keyword is being borrowed or being uh, in Arabic, so one of the one of the frequently uh, search keyword is uh, Shariah. Okay. So Shariah have uh, several spellings. Uh, okay. For example, we have uh, Shariah. We also have Shariah with S Y, and we have also Shariah with. Uh, this recipe. So how to go about it? We can use truncation. Okay. What is truncation? For example, uh, I can use this icon. It's either uh, what you call this? Char S. Okay, first we try the, the normal Char Okay, and click search. Okay, <clears throat> so we have uh, for for this kind of spelling, S H A R I A H, we have 10, uh, 37,000 uh, results. Okay, as you can see, this is the most commonly used uh, keyword. So if I replace Y. So Sharia without H, we have uh, almost double of the first result Sharia with H. Okay. So here I have six, over sixty-four thousand uh, item or results. Okay. So if you need, if you don't, uh, if you don't confirm. Uh, which spelling to use? You can use uh, truncation, which is the S trick. Okay, Chari. Okay, I use this. Okay, so it will uh, maintain these words, 
and any any letters that after A, it will pull out the system will pull out the result regardless any letters. So I try Sharia with a strict. Okay. So you can see the system uh, is pulling Sharia with H. Since we have multi, we have thousand of of results. So you can see here, the result is being pulled out uh, Sharia with H and also Sharia without H. Okay. So you can have uh, more results based by using this kind of uh, icon or this kind of allocation. Okay. Excuse me. Yep. There is the apostrophe sign or? Uh, this is a straight star. Oh. Okay, you can uh, on my keyboard it's it's shift number eight. eight. Yeah, correct. Okay, okay. So, uh, for example, we have also zakat, right? We have zakat, and some country is using uh, zakat. So, this kind of keyword also you can use this uh, truncation, the asterisk truncation. So uh, that's for the, the the letters that ends. Okay. But how about uh, letters in the middle of the keyword? For example, uh, you have any? Um, for example, we have men and we have men. Okay. So I I can't thinking any of the keyword that related uh, okay. for example uh, we have banks right and we have banks and we have banking okay so this also you can use the same uh, truncation so once you use banks it will get it will uh, pull out the result uh, either it's banks, banking, banker. Uh, okay, uh, that's all. Okay. So you can have a try. Okay, so you can see that I have private banking, I have banking, I have banks, I have bankers. So this is how you expand your keyword search. Now I'll show you how to use wildcard by using uh, um, this, what we call this, this icon. This, this is being used in, ah yeah. So this is how you, for example, you are looking for this keyword, but you don't, you are not sure whether you should use this E or A. So you can use uh, this sign. Okay. So the system will try to match your keyword. So it, it will pull out men with A and we try to find whether there is a men with B. E. Yeah, we have men with E. So if your keyword ends with, uh, you need to expand your keyword uh, at the later at the later part of your keyword, uh, 
uh, you can use uh, truncation as three or if it's in the middle you can use this uh, this kind of keyword okay. this kind of symbol i think google also practice the same the same uh, tools or or technique you can say okay, that's for a single keyword but if you need a uh, keyword for example two two types of need two types of keyword joining together for example we have social finance okay. so i just click hit enter so what the system understand is you are looking for social and also finance okay. so in this case you will experience you will quite uh, experience this kind of search right where the the word is not coming together uh, social in the first part and the finance in the second part so how you want so for example if you have this kind of keyword search you want it to be together you can use the quote mark the double quote so you just uh, open and close the, the keyword and you click enter so before this i'm i'm using without the quote mark social finance i have around 2.4 million of results and i try to narrow down by using this quote mark and i click search now my result is being uh, narrowed down to 6300 only so this is all by social finance that coming together yeah. why this come up because the subject they try they they include in the tag for social finance so that's why this article is being pulled up together God. So based on this 6,000, we have the top result is from magazines uh, having 2,300 uh, results, academic journals, 1.3 thousand, and the rest. You can see the hits count. And if you need to filter down for just uh, journals, journal article, you can simply filter the, uh, filtering the search result and you can see that this the result is being narrowed down by only journal article so you can see this journals this article from journal of finance which is from wiley uh, management decision by business source corporate plus and the rest So if you need, so for example, this is quite straightforward. You can see the PDF full text icon. Just for the click on this, and it will prompt you to sign in. Okay, sign in to down this one. So that's uh, from INSEF Knowledge Portal. So I'll proceed to uh, IKR, INSEF Knowledge Portal. Okay. Where you can see the our faculty member publications and also the past examination papers. Uh, brother, before moving on, uh, yep. May I ask? Yep. So, oh yeah. So on the uh, KMC portal, okay. the page uh, that 
just you uh, open. Uh, there's written uh, available only in library. Does it mean also library in uh, like the the the, the other library uh, in save subscribe like the S? I remember. Uh, what, I what, remember. Sorry. what is the what? Uh, what I mean, I want to ask about the. On the, yeah, on the yeah oh, on the yeah, right? in library collection does it oh. mean also collection the other sources the insight has subscribed okay you mean uh, or, yeah or only in uh, in the filtering like you mean KMC, uh, KMC library okay you mean uh, this one Available in library collection. Yeah 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 this, this is uh, includes our catalog item includes the the physical or the hard copy of the books okay and also the ebook from other sources yeah the insight subscribed yes uh, so uh for uh, i i've just tried the try to search time time value of money and search the ebooks okay there is only one result yeah. So it means uh, we can find other ebooks in uh, the, the the other resources. Yeah, correct. Uh, so uh, you need only ebooks, right? Yeah, yeah, ebook. Okay, so I filtered uh, it. Uh, I filtered to the ebook only. Okay. Uh, and only uh, one result. For ebooks in Insert Knowledge Portal, the ebook is quite uh, limited because some of our ebook is not being indexed in in this uh, uh, portal. But you can further go to our ebook section. Okay, uh, can you okay. see my screen? Right? Also, so the the library mention is only in safe library uh, you mean in this Do you mean? oh yeah yeah but yeah i got it so uh for example if i want to explore ebook better if i through the explore explore collect explore collection yeah because the ebooks that being indexed in here is only mm -hmm by exco oh okay okay so okay, it, exactly. we have um quite number of collection in progress ebook central so i can show you okay okay so once you click uh may i know what kind of keyword that you're using uh i'm sorry uh um, oh, I looked for the uh, for the author. Author. Yeah. Who who is the author? Uh, Anas Al Zarko. A N N A S. Yeah. Anas Al Zarko. Okay. Even no results were found. Anas Al Zarko. Uh, this is by. Do you, do you know the title? The uh, the title it's quite long. <laughs> is it Arabic book? I'm sorry. Yeah. Is it an Arabic book? It's um. Uh, yeah, it's actually one of uh, reference in one courses. Okay, so means if it's a uh, main reference. Oh yeah, an introduction. No, it's. I think it's not main. Uh, the title is an introduction to Islamic economics and finance. Okay.
by Anas, is it? Yeah, by Anas. We have this. I try to look at our collection. But it's available, I think, the the hard book, the physical book. I mean. Yeah, the physical. If it's a uh, main reference, the we should have uh, make available the at least the oh. copy the print. Oh, okay. So that answer your question. Oh yeah, yeah, I got it. Thank you. So I'll proceed to IKR. So this is the landing page from for IKR. We at the home page you can uh, browse or navigate our collection by communities and collection by the issue date, author, title or topic. Okay. And the lower part you can have the top authors. Okay. You can see that the Top contributing author is uh, Dr. Aisha Muniza with 148 items, followed by Prof. Shamshe, 170, and the rest of our faculty members. And the bottom part is the topics and how how many of our materials are available in this kind in this topic. So on the middle part is the latest articles that being uploaded in IKR is not it's not the latest published article where you can see that uh, we have 2019 articles this is the latest additional new in our IKR so you can see uh, the trending trending means most access item so it's like uh, the highly access the highly accessible item or material. Okay. This is the highly access. This is the new edition. <coughs> okay. So let's say you uh, you can also go to your individual lecturer or faculty member to have their to have a look at their publication. For example, I'm looking at uh, Prof. Baharu's profile. Okay, Prof. Baharum will take some time. So I'll proceed to Prof. Manso profile. Okay. So you can see this. Uh, this is the list of his publication. He has uh, 102 publications, which consists of general articles, 63 items, and the rest of his uh, publication type. So uh, to download any of this article, you need to first log in. Okay. So I have already logged in and I go to control. Okay. So let's say I'm interested in this article, structural changes competition and bank stability. Okay. So you can further click. And you can see the abstract and some uh, some information. Okay. okay so this is uh, request a copy. You should see uh, view online or 
downloads instead of request a copy. Maybe the system admin didn't update the privilege yet. Okay. So this is the correct I, uh, correct links that you should see. So let's say you are only, for example, only want to have a brief view of the article, you can select view online. View online means you can only view the article without have a copy of the article, without downloading the article. So as you can see here, I don't have any download icons. I only have print icons. So let's say if you need to download the article, just click on download icon. So here I can have the articles downloaded in my desktop or laptop. Okay. Okay. So, okay. so um, the articles is quite straightforward. And how to get the past examination papers? Okay. Okay. The examination papers is available on the communities and collections, learning material, exam papers. Okay. As you can see that if you need make to make sure you are on on the you have already logged in to ITR. For example, if I log out and I go to the same page, learning materials, I don't see any exam papers here. Okay. So it's better or you need to make sure that you are logged in to IKR to see the exam papers. Okay. So I, can, uh, me, yep. uh, can you teach again how to access the as in papers, I missed that part. Okay, sure, no problem. So, uh, okay, so you go to ITR. So the difference is now I don't yet, I'm not yet logged in. Okay. The ITR is available in communities and collection. The first link and go to learning materials. So, if I don't log in, I don't see any exam papers. It will show me learning materials zero. But if I log in, and I go to the same page, collections, learning material, I can see that we have 195 exam papers. So we have this kind of uh, some student is having issues that they go to uh, this, they already go to the this page, uh, collection, learning material, but they don't see any exam papers. Why? Because they don't log in. Okay. So to uh, just make sure you are already logged in and go to uh, communities and collections, learning material, and you can see that exam papers is available. Okay. So just further click on exam papers. Okay. So the, we arrange the exam papers based on semesters. So, uh, so we have the latest one is the June semester paper, June uh, examination papers is already available. And this is the course or the subject that uh, being offered and have final exam. Okay. So this is the latest one, the, the recent uh, exam papers available, which is in the June, June exam papers. 
So what uh, program is being offered is we have EMIF, we have uh, ECN 5013, Economics for Islamic Finance, we have SHA 5013, Sharia Aspect of Business and Finance, and we also have Sharia 5113, Sharia Rules and Issue. So if you need if you need to practice to answer this kind of papers, uh, you can have you can download your copy. We only provide you the exam papers. We don't provide you the answer sheet or answer scheme. Okay. That one you need to maybe ask your lecturer if they allow you to have one. how the exam papers look like. Okay. This is quite recent, so you can maybe familiarize yourselves on how to answer this kind of questions or the format. So the we have the recent one June 2020 and we have the earliest one is January 2016. This is the earliest exam papers that we we submit into IKR. We might have uh, the more earlier prior to 2016, but it's not in soft copy. It's, it's uh, in print, print format, in hard copy. Okay. So I covered almost all. Okay. So. So, do you have any questions that uh, I can answer? So, I for the exam papers. Okay. Uh, so, in order to search for it, we have to scroll and then go to the next page. Not really. You can use this search function. Okay. For example, uh, do you have any? Do you have any? Uh, the codes for your exam or your papers that you're looking at? Uh, FN five one two three. Five one two three. So you can. MSC. FN five one two three, right? Ah uh, yes. Okay. So you can use this as your keyword. So it's available in June 2012, 2013. So, yeah. so just type in the. Yep. Okay. So if you hit okay. uh, find, you can see in which semester the papers is being offered. Ah yeah, understood. Okay. Mm -hmm. You don't you don't need to uh, go each semester to find uh, whether the paper is being offered or not. You can use uh, the subject or uh, I think the most uh, recommended one is the subject code because it uh, it's quite unique. Because if you use Islamic finance and the result the result might, you can have the result uh, from you can have the result from other subject like, for example yeah, the journals the chapter in book will will pull up all the results but if you use the subject code uh, the result will be only exam papers all right thank you okay. so any questions before i end our session for today I will be emailing uh, the slides to all of you. So
So you can have, uh, if you can't catch up for today's session, you can have a look on uh, what, what I have covered for this session. Okay. Uh, just for your info, we regularly conduct this kind of training, uh, but before this, we conducted uh, on site the campus. But uh, since we are in the new norm, uh, we try to try to accommodate uh, to have it via Zoom, via online. So the next training session organized by KMC will be on uh, Thomson Reuters icon and data stream. Okay. Uh, the one I have uh, briefly explained in my earlier slide, where you can get uh, your your the so file, file, quantitative data, such as uh, macro data, the company's data, and the, basically the financial markets data, I can say. So that's uh, about it. Uh, thank you and, and good luck. Assalamualaikum. Okay, thank you. Waalaikumsalam warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Thank you. Thank you.